Hello everybody, I am Mole West, and this is Grime. Once again, we're still on a quest from Shirda, she, Shidra of the World Pillar to go slay a monster that is down in the Feaster's Lair. And we just gotta get down to the Feaster's Lair, which is, uh... Where now? Oh, it's over there to the left. So, how would I get there? Maybe this way will take me up higher. High enough that I could make my way down and then to the left where I'm not about to be plummeting straight into a pit of pain and or death or despair. While I try to make my way over there. That might be the thing that I need. And... You, sir, are some charcoal root, and I have no idea what that does. I should probably figure that out, but I am not going to because I'm too damn lazy, and I prefer to not use consumable items in combat unless they exist for the sole purpose of healing me. And there is another dude doing them ground spikes that I really don't like. Now, eh, come on. Why are you not eating the guy that you're supposed to be eating? There you go. Now, is that enough for a heal? I don't think it is. That is most unfortunate. And I can't fucking move while that thing's doing those shocky bits. And yeah, there's the grab spike guy, who is beyond my reach. But unfortunate. Uh, that is very, very unfortunate. I will find a way to him. I want to end the spikes poking me in the ass. I found me a pillar fragment, another thing that I don't know what it does. Should probably figure it out, but I'm not going to. And you little turd, you think you can just smack me like that as soon as I drop down? Guess again, you little bastard. Now I'm healing because I went and ate all the shit you had to throw at me. And there you go. Huh. Them things up there can be pulled, but I don't think I can reach them as things are. Maybe if I pull you up and then I try to make this jump. E Damn, it didn't work. I need the air dash to get over there, but I am seeing the purple spermy things. So we are close to a beacon, but I don't remember exactly where it is. So in that case, I'm kind of fucked now, aren't I? But they do seem to be heading down, and down is where I seem to be heading. Now, yeah, that's just staying electrified forever, isn't it? Can't get through there while that thing is in a constant state of being all shocky. Ooh, I get me a checkpoint. And that wasn't exactly the best ooh I could possibly do there. And so I make up for it by going ooh right now. And let's get some more farce going. Yeah. That's better. And who might you be? That rumbling from high up above... The world pillar's lift is functional once more. This can only mean one thing. The mothers of Lithic are gone. Hmm. And just as the carven have been running out of bricks. Hmm. Levelam suits you, end giver. You have descended from the world pillar on a quest from Shidra, then. Strange that they would be willing to deal with you when they refused the Koka. <laughs> Still here, I have nothing more to say to you. We both know how all this will inevitably end. I wish for only one final thing before that happens. Yep, you have nothing else to say, gold head. Now then... I am unsure of where to go from here. I'm 
dropping straight down would hurt. Going over here would just take me back the way I came. So, what then? This way, perhaps? I might not have gone this way unless I came from this way, which I probably did. But if I did, this guy wouldn't be alive, and now he is not alive because he blundered into that thing. Except I did come this way because only these guys are only alive because I went and hit that checkpoint. So, what then? There's gotta be something I missed. Unless I'm just a fucking idiot. And that is always mo the most likely reason for anything being the way that it is. But I guess I didn't go this way. I could always go up and then to the left. And this thing, yes, this thing is a thing that I could use. Okay, ground spikes. So we're back in ground spike territory. Because, okay. Oh, you, I could talk to you. Path servants. Good thing I'm invincible while talking. No, no. Those would be impossible to unravel. Tear off the dry, thin roots. They make the best threads. It won't be much longer before I am taken to the palace. And if you are going to replace me, you need to do this right. Why would I want to replace you? I'm going to be a sculptor, not a stitcher. You are what the carbon want you to be, and right now they need more stitchers. Ridiculous! From sculpting the form sculpting is much is of much greater significance. Ha! As if they would let you sculpt any forms. If anything, you were to sculpt you were to sculpt new servants or the offerings into bricks. Enough of this. Just be quiet and let me work, you crud. Okay. So we just found a couple of dudes over here doing they thing. So... I need to get to the feaster's lair. Ah, you are the ground-spiking ass wagon who needs to go fuck himself. Now you spike that up again and... Arg. Why such big delay on the stabbing motion? There you go. You done got eight, and your spikes are at the end. Ah, there's a platform up there that's just beyond my reach. But if I bring you up, I can jump up and bring you down, and there we go. And I can bring you up, and then from here, I don't know what. I don't see anywhere to jump to, and yeah, nothing to jump to, nothing to pull. That's probably just for the sole purpose of getting up here and taking care of that spiking bastard so that he can't go spiking me in the taint anymore. Now what you waiting for? There you go. You swung at me and got parried as you should. Ow. <laughs> this doesn't look like anything that I want to do, though. I think I'm just looping back around. Unless I haven't gone this far over, but according to the map with all those dots, I already have gone over there. And I was hoping I could pull that thing to the side, but I guess not. So yeah, I have run into a place that I can't proceed past over on this side. And now we wait for the electric to go, come and go. Now, there we go. I'm up. I'm good. And up he is. Yeah, this looks like a place I haven't gone through yet. Uh oh really got to time that better. This seems like an optional sort of thing, but it might be required. You never can tell unless you go through, but I do know for a fact I have not gone through here yet, so it might be leading me to where I absolutely have to go. And I'm going to wait for that electricity to go by again, because I wasted too much time 
jump into the wrong platform, and then I wasted even more time not climbing up onto it like you're supposed to. And it's all about time and your movements, so you don't get electrocuted. Yeah, and there's a glowing nerve there that I can pull on. Okay, then drop on down instead of dashing over like I wanted you to. Oh, hey, there's another one of these nerve things right here above the checkpoint. And now that that nerve thing is gone, some of the continuous electricity has been removed. All right, yep, that's great. Let's do that with a little less stupidity this time. And you stop doing that shocky thing. Now let's pull you up and see what we got over here. Yeah, there's a dude who's in need of an ass whooping. And I see a thing full of breath that I can go taking. But I will leave that because I don't absolutely need it right now. Nothing I can't accomplish with a few successful parries. And you ain't exactly something I can parry. I need you to get close enough for me to smash you. There you go. Since his health was all gray, there was no eating him. No getting a legitimate parry out of that. And you were all out of gray health. What the fuck, man? You were supposed to get killed with that first parry, but no. I got just one tiny point of gray health left, so it doesn't work anymore. Ooh, what do we have here? Clutching root. Again, don't know what it does. And also, again, not gonna bother figuring out. Now let's keep on chugging along. There's another breath sack up there. Let's get you over here. And yeah, that doesn't look like any place I want to be dropping down into. Yep, we're in the clear. And we got ground spikes. And I just know you're going to wait for the right moment. Okay, you ain't going to go zapping me the second I try to move. And we got to fight this dude with ground spikes happening. Stop with your damn stuff and things. There you go. And I'm fairly certain that them ground spikes cannot be parried for the sole purpose of them appearing red. And you smelly bitch. Ha, you take your shots back now, mister. I don't want them. You can go ahead and fall down on your knees. Because I want you to. And, yep, take your shit back. Me no want. And let's get that nerve up on out of there. So we can drop safely down here. And we are gonna go ahead and find where that ground spiking bastard is. And just so you know, you cannot dodge through those things while they are electrified. You still get hit even if you dodge through it. I tried it before. That's just the way it is. There's a big old piece of blub metal over there. And I want it. I also don't want to get spiked in the ass by this ground spiking prick. And you, you spiky little bastard. Oh, there's another guy. Lots of dude down there. Lots of dude indeed, and I don't like fighting them while trying to dodge spikes. Oh, fuck off. I hit you before you hit me, you cheating bitch. Good thing big boy stays dead. Now, if I could just find the ground spike an asshole... That would solve a lot of my problems. It's really, really annoying having to deal with that on top of enemies. Now, I believe I was down this way when I died. Yep, there is my shit. 
and I'll just be taking that shit back. And now come and get some motherfucker. Oh, there you go. Oh, you had another guy appear right out of you as you died. So there we go. That's that problem solved, and he can't set his spikes up through this narrow little platform. That is some nice shit right there, and I can't get through that tiny gap because it's uneven ground. I am too low down. If I had the air dash, I'd be able to get through there. But for now, I'd need to be on even ground with it, which I am not. Feaster's Lair! Now, you just gonna roll your ball around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carvin, what do you want? Yeah. It's mine, my gift for Shidra. Stay away, you dusty sibling thief. Find your own offering. <laughs> your kind makes it better, thinks it's better, just because you, you've made yourselves longer limbs. Yeah. Bah! What is your new form worth when it's made from the broken bodies of my siblings? Mm. And mothers, poor mothers, <laughs> bah, out of my way. She drove the world pillar will help right your wrong after I give them this valuable material. <laughs> they will grant me a powerful device made out of your body, and I will dance on the broken pieces of your kind. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Now out of my way. Really shouldn't talk like that to somebody wielding a giant double-bladed sword. Whack! And now I got a Motley Pearl. Yeah. I don't think Shidra would go making anything out of a Motley Pearl. At least nothing that I'm aware of. As far as I know, them Motley Pearls are only used to refund hunt points and respec yourself. And that's the only use of them that I know of. But let's take a look at these traits. I got a few hunt points now. Ooh, maximum force goes up by 10% from these guys. Hitting the backs of prey does more damage. I do like that. When prey are destroyed... Uh, when prey are destroyed, not absorbed... Not by absorb, they drop a small cloud of breath. Also really good. Pulling the exposed enemy restores force. Hmm... Holding the right trigger will charge to instantly heal for 150% of the original value. All these traits are really good. Damage done by 10% for 15 seconds after repelling an attack. Blurb it a blurb. But yeah, I do like that cloud of breath thing. And I also like getting force back by a successful pull. And I'll get some extra force out of you. And maybe get myself a little more health while I'm at it. Yeah! I got me some new traits going. And I can still have a decent chunk of stamina left even after a full combo from the fucking Yurglave. And we only got a little bit further to go before we reach the thing that Shidra wants me to kill. And maybe I'll go and kill that thing in the next episode. We're all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you again in the next one.